So, uh, this is another comic review from uh, our good friend over on uh, Mount Vernon Kid, uh, Chris. Hope you're watching this. And this is a IDW comic by the name of Highlander, the American Dream. Highlander, the American Dream is a miniseries that acts as a prequel to the original 1985 cult classic film. And, yeah, it follows Connor McCloud um, in a lost story of how he kind of, Well, it doesn't ex fully explain how he got to America, but it basically says of what he was doing, um, well, some of the things he was doing from uh, up until the, the uh, 1985 gathering of all the immortals. So, uh, this story is pretty fun. It's a five-issue miniseries that pretty much covers all of the days leading up to Highlander. Now, the big thing with this is that you don't need to watch the other, well, let's be honest, god-awful sequels to enjoy this book, uh, to enjoy this comic. Do you know the, the original 1985 film? Do you remember the, the 85 film? Do you? Oh, you do? Okay, that's all the prerequisite you need for, um, high, for this Highlander comic. If you were a high, fan of the original film, this will definitely, um, this will definitely help. This will definitely help, uh, help you. Now, the other major thing with this is that um, uh, Highlander the American Dream uh, is the story, like I said, the story of uh, Connor McCloud and some of the things he was doing in, the, in, in America. Like, uh, the story starts in the Civil War, ten days after the Battle of Gettysburg, where McCloud comes across not one, but two other immortals. One named Vaslik, who is a monk, and our, the story's main antagonist, James Hook who was an immortal that came here on the Mayflower and has since been uh, essentially an immortal serial killer. Um, and it's been Voslik's job to keep John Hook away from gaining all the power of, um, you know, the grand prize of the immortals in that game. So, uh, the new characters, let's talk about the new characters real quick. Voslik is a monk who was a warrior in Ethiopia who just kind of lost his lust for battle and just wanted to find uh, peace. Uh, he's a very nice character. He's a nice little contrast to Connor McCloud, who is just this emotionally broken character. Um, but Voslik acts like a good friend, and even though he knows that when it comes down to it, you know, him and I are going to have to fight, and it's not going to be pretty. You know, when the gathering happens, it's not going to be a pretty sight for when he and I uh, have, are forced to throw down. So it's going, you know, it's going to be a tough matchup, you know, it's going to be tough for me to fight him. And Connor realized this and tries to keep Voslik um, at arm's length because he knows I don't want to be friends with, you know, friends with a guy I have to decapitate and take his quickening. So I can't, for the life of me, do that. Um... The other, uh, the other, the other immortal, James Hook, is a great villain because obviously you can't have the Kurgan, in, you know, the Kurgan in here without trying to kill him because you kind of need him for the movie. But does the Kurgan show up in this comic? Mm, maybe. But since you can't use the Kurgan, you have to, you know, this new character, James Hook, is a great villain because, uh, you know, much like the Kurgan, um, he's psychotic. But he's also just a little more unrefined, he's a little more unhinged, and I like that he's a good foil, that, you know, he's basically, since he, arriving here in, on the Mayflower, he's made America his own, kill, you know, his own playground, and by playground I mean slaughterhouse. So, I kind of dig that, that, you know, that it's a character that is villainous like the Kurgan, but is vast, you know, but at the same time is not a, you know, Kurgan ripoff. He's not a Kurgan ripoff. Um, but I will admit that he does, you know, his ending is a little anticlimactic. The ending with that story is a little anticlimactic, sadly. If anything, this feels more like a story between Voslik and McCloud and the buildup they have to, um, you know, to the, ga you know, it's more like McCloud coming to, to finally coming to terms with um, the coming of the gathering. So that's the big thing right there. You also get little tid tidbits of uh, Sean Connery's character, Ramirez. You also get other uh, character nods here and there. Again, if you're a fan of the original film, you're definitely going to dig this comic. You're definitely going to dig this. And I think this is the only IDW book that, you know, the only Highlander comic that IDW published. In fact, I think this is the only Highlander comic, period. 
I really think this is... I can't. I haven't been able to see any, any other Highlander comics, but really, this is probably for the best, because this is a pretty good... This is a pretty damn good story um, of, a, you know, a story of a man who has been around for a long time, trying not to make friends because he doesn't want to let anybody in out of fear of losing them to either his enemies or to, you know, time itself. So it's a nice, um, ba you know, it's a nice balance, and it really does do a nice introspective. And Vosslick's a great character. Hook is a decent villain, because again, you couldn't really use the Kurgan as the main antagonist they could kill, because you kind of need him for the movie. So that's the big, you know, that's kind of the big thing right there. Um, so that's what I like about this, is that it, it, it pays homage to the original book, as well as, you know, add some more stuff to the lore. So like I said, like I've been saying beforehand, if you are a fan of the of Highlander or of the Highlander franchise, or at least the first film, I would say go check this out. I highly recommend uh, Highlander: The American Dream. Um, if you love these characters and love this universe, and again, or at the very least, like I said, the original film, then I highly recommend you try to find this book. It's very, it's a great, enjoyable read. Um, great action, great storytelling, all around just a good, you know, a good miniseries. I also feel like this book, um, whereas I have a problem with miniseries where I feel like it ends too short or end, you know, or drags on, this one, even for a five-issue miniseries, it manages to essentially keep a good pace. It essentially managed to hold its own and be at a proper five-issue length and still feel like you got the whole story. So I did, you know, so I think that's pretty cool uh, for this comic to do that. Anyway, so there you go, guys. That is my review. Uh, once again, I want to thank uh, Mount Vernon Kid. Chris, I know you're watching. Thank you once again for this contribution. And yeah, if you've read Highlander, The American Dream, uh, comment below, let you know, let us know what you, here on the channel what you thought of it. And I'm DPZ. And we, and uh, as always, want to thank you all for enjoying this uh, video. And on behalf of everyone here, we will see you right here once more in the universe.